Yeah, can we speak to Edgar Martin? This is Edgar Martin. How you doing? What's up, brother? How you doing? This is Dave Duenas with Gabriel Montoya on Leaving the Ring. Really excited having you on. You're going to get Eric Morel. Um, hey, let's talk a little bit about that fight. I mean, you're not slowing down, dude, at all. I mean, you're taking everything that's out there possible. Um, I mean, if you have not gotten the respect of fighters, I mean, of, of, of fans, I don't know what's wrong with the fans. I don't know what they want from you. <laughs> right, right. I mean, yeah, I mean, every every fight, every opponent that they put in front of us, uh, we, we definitely don't say no, you know. Uh, Voldemort, they, you know, they gave us that name and we said, let's do it. You know, we want to make this fight happen and uh, a tough fight, you know, a good fight for the fans. Puerto Rico against Mexico and, uh, you know, I hope... Uh, the fans go home happy, you know, April twenty first. You know, now, now, Eric is is a guy that was very high on. And, you know, we're talking a few years back. We have a lot of folks were very high on him. Uh, kind of fell off, went to prison. Now is back in the scene. Hasn't really made a stamp back on, on the boxing game, you know. But he's gradually. But how dangerous of a guy do you think that he is? How dangerous for you? He is very dangerous just, just because for the fact that everything you mentioned, I mean, he's out of prison, he's hungry for success, uh, for, for, for his, uh, for boxing. Uh, he wants to come up on a 11 run streak, you know, no losses. And that makes him really dangerous because he wants it really bad. But, you know, he thinks that I'm taking this fight lightly and that that's where his mistake is, you know. I'm not, I train this hard and it's not, Harder than I did in my last four fights, and, and I'm ready for him. I'm ready to to showcase another great fight, uh, show people a different abnormalities as I always want to every in every fight. And uh, you know, it's it's going to be a great fight for the fans. You know, from the beginning of watching your career, I think a lot of us feel that we've kind of grown up with you, watching you, uh, watching the changes in your skills and your personality and the way you've kind of grown into who you are now. And I got to tell you, going back to back, man, I mean, just fight after fight, from Darchinian out of Beckel twice, and now going with Morel. The most important, I think the only disappointment, I think you were disappointed, was that a lot of us, including myself, wanted to see, we wanted to see the Dornier. Is is fighting Eric from Puerto Rico, is that an appetizer for yourself? Uh, not at all. I'm not looking at I'm not looking at this fight that way. I'm not looking at this fight as a tuna fight. There is no such thing as tuna fights, I think. You know, to my belief, he's just another opponent, you know. The guy who has two hands, a great boxer, great experience. Another, you know, uh, day at, uh, at work, you know, it's going to be a tough fight. And um, uh, But uh, if you put an appetizer as in, you know, not the big fight that I want, definitely. It's not. I want, like you mentioned, on Ito Donaire. Scenario, that's the that's the fight I want. The fight that uh, not only I, you know, I think I speak for the fans. That's the fan, the fight that they want to watch, and definitely that I want to give, you know, without a doubt, you know, for the fans. And, and hopefully we make it happen. Let's 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 uh, work with the promoters. Hopefully they can uh, they can make this fight happen. God willing, everything goes well. This April twenty first. Uh, let's make it happen before the the end of this year. Uh, Abdur, this is uh, Gabe Montoya uh, with Max Boxing and Leave It in the Ring. Uh, welcome to the show, first off. Long time no talk. You've had these big fights back to back to back. Uh, do you worry about an emotional letdown fighting a guy that, that may not be, you know, he's not a glamour fighter. It's not necessarily a stay busy. He's dangerous. But do you worry that, you know, that he's not an Beck, though. He's not one of those big names. That you could have one of those slip-ups? You no, know, I, I try not to worry about that. I not no attention to that. I know um, a lot of people are... Just not looking at this fight, you know, taking this fight that serious because, again, you know, this guy's been under the radar for so long. Uh, he's trying to make a comeback, but, you know, that does not make him any less, you know, better or worse opponent. He, he is a good opponent. He's just not, you know, one of those big names, like you said. And, uh, again, it's a big, good fight for me, uh, a fight that uh, I train hard for, a uh, good fight that I want to showcase. And uh, hopefully, you know, God willing, we what motivates me right now, really, for that fight is winning that world title. We got to, uh, we got to let it be known that the, it's for the WBC Super Bantamweight t- Championship. So I'm looking forward to winning that, God, God willing, and uh, you know, um, making the name for myself in that weight division. Let's talk about the guy. You know, what, what do you uh, do? You break him down on tape. What have you seen of him? What do you know of him? Uh, what are your what are your thoughts on how the fight might go? You know what? On, on paper, obviously he's uh he's more expensive than me. He has over forty fights. Uh, 
Uh, he's been around. Uh, he's been champion twice. But uh, style wise, he, I think I think he's a boxer puncher. You know, he's a boxer that likes to fight from the outside. He every mistake he likes to you know he likes to make you pay for every, every mistake he makes. He will not risk much. He's not a fighter that's gonna stand toe to toe. And uh, but obviously keeping in mind that that he might you know because he wants it that bad. You know, he wants this fight that bad. So we're ready. We're ready for an inside fight toe to toe, and we are ready to to figure this opponent out if if it comes down to, you know, taking him down the ring. And there was some backlash, you know, before the, the rematch with Agbeko. You know, uh, people like, oh, Abner Morris is a, is a low-blow artist and dirty fighter, and, you know, we went through the whole argument. Do you think things have now changed since you, you won so clearly and so cleanly in that second fight? Do, have, you, have you noticed people are a little cooler to you and – and are you holding a grudge on some of those people that just turn so easily on you? Uh, yeah, I think it's changed. Uh, no doubt it has. But, you know, I think I proved that, you know, I, I beat the guy fair and square without, you know, no contra- controversy. Um, just how boxing guy and fought a great fight, you know, in the last fight against the back one. But it uh, definitely has no effect on me. It doesn't bother me. Um, really strong-minded and... Uh, Looking forward to this fight and any 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 upcoming fight. How much longer do you think you stick around at, at bantamweight? I, you know, every time I, I see you, it, it looks like you're just getting bigger and bigger. I mean, are, are you able to maintain that weight? Are you looking to move up to be a featherweight or anything like that? Uh, you know what? Uh, I definitely do. I I want to move up on weight, uh, not just super bantamweight. I want to move to featherweight, to the featherweight. Uh, my like you said, my body my body is growing. Um, you know, we are kind of not struggling, but, you know, not so comfortable either making 122. Uh, we feel great, obviously, because, you know, we got those extra pounds. <laughs> but, again, right. you know, it's not something that we're making easy. You know, so I feel good. I'll, I'll feel strong at this weight class, and, and hopefully we stick around at least, you know, to give the fans, uh, you know, at least two, three great fights against top, you know, top fighters in this weight class. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, 26 years old, in uh, and, and, and boxing years, you know, they always say when you hit 28 or 30, that's that's considered like going out of your out of your peak. Do you feel like you got to kind of like maybe rush it a little bit more to ca- gather all those fights? And that's why you've been taking on back to back hard fights. I mean, from Yanni Perez, I mean, you just kept going. And, and like I said, it doesn't look like you've, you're going to slow down anytime soon. But. At at 26, do you feel like th- you needed to cram all everything in all at once? You know what? It's funny because I have been thinking that, and and not that, not in the sense that I'll, I'll probably be done, I'll be washed out. No, just the fact that I want to retire young. I definitely don't want to see myself after 30 still fighting. I want to retire young. You know, being you know, I have faced the uh, the top fighters out there going out with uh, definitely you know great record great game for myself, people knowing me as, you know, I'm the one that fought everybody, every, every top of position, and, and, you know, obviously, you know, cashing out, you know, going home financially good and, and, and just retiring young. You know, if you don't get no, no Nito Dornier, there's another, there's another Mexican fighter out there, a great Mexicano fighter out there by the name of Orlando Salido, who had his two rematches, successful fights with Juan Manuel Lopez, is there, is that a guy that you would be interested in? Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, any any fight, any fighter that's gonna make a great fight for the fans, I'm I'm with it, man. <laughs> Believe me, I'm with it. I'm ready. Um, that's a tough fight, you know. That's a really tough fighter, strong fighter. Um, you know, my respect. Uh, a great fight that you know both of the fighters gave us. You know, gave us that uh, a month ago. Uh, as a fan, you know, I enjoy that fight. And definitely, definitely, as a as a fight, you know, even in feather, very featherweight, you know, I'll, I'll be more than willing to move up and and give that fight because I, I know we could, you know, we can make it into a great fight, you know. At the end of the day, I, I'm I'm more than sure that the fans are gonna go home satisfied, and 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 that's what you know makes me makes me happy, and will more than willing be 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 happy to make this fight. Yeah, because you know when I look at the bantamweight division, and I and I go, okay. I think you pretty much have kind of cleaned it up. Well, the, I mean, there's you know one what I mean? guy. Like, oh, yeah, and, there is one guy. And Selma Moreno. Um, what do you think about him? That's a tough style. He's a pure boxer. Uh, right. Doesn't bring a lot to the table in terms of being a draw. 
So, you know, I know this is more, I don't like to get into, would you fight this guy? I know a fighter is going to say yes to that question every time. But <laughs> do you feel like if, if you left Bantamweight and you didn't fight him, would you feel like you hadn't quite cleaned it out and, and there was some unfinished business there? You know what? No doubt. I mean, if I would not not fight him, people will, you know, forever be talking, oh, he never faced this guy. I, I, <laughs> ask any other yeah. fighter that has retired, you know. I think they, yeah. they, they get mentioned, you know, like, oh, but he never fought this guy. So I think definitely that's one of the names. But I think you answered pretty much everything. I mean, the guy, he's without a doubt a, a superb fighter, a great fighter. He moves around great in the ring, but he doesn't attract much, you know, because he doesn't risk. He's not, he's not, he's not there to uh, honestly, you know, satisfy the, the crowd. He's just in it to win, obviously, as any fighter, but, you know, yeah. If he has to run the whole 12 rounds, he'll do it just to get a win. And he will I, not please the crowd. And, and I think that I'm the other way around. Uh, if I'm running and making a boring fight, I'll somehow, like, you know, just go in and give the crowd a good fight because they pay, you know, they pay for their, their tickets to get, see a good fight, and, and that's the way it should be. Yeah, you know, I, I was there ringside for that fight and uh, with with Darchinian, and, and obviously you you were probably focused in on your fight later on that evening, but... Man, you know, I like skilled boxers. I think you're a skilled boxer, but you risk. You know, there was people that were just going crazy, like, wow, this guy's amazing. I was bored to tears. i, I got to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I, I wasn't that, you know, I, and I'd seen him before, and I, I do enjoy his work, but I certainly didn't enjoy his work that night. I, I was bored to tears. And I, I wouldn't, I don't know, I, I wouldn't be that critical of you if you didn't fight it, just kind of based on, on that. It might not be that exciting of a fight, but... Yeah. You know, and we, uh, we I, didn't agree on that, remember? Because I actually yeah. was entertained by his fight. And to tell you the truth, I'd love to see Ab- Abner and him go at it. You know, I, I think that what I've seen of, of you, Abner, is that you've came in with game plans. And this is a style that I'd like to see if you could figure out. If if he decides yeah. to run, could you? Be, it, it will definitely be interesting. It will be interesting to face this guy because of this style, like you mentioned. And, and figure, figuring out the guy will make it even more fun, you know? Figuring out the guy inside the ring, like okay, this guy's doing this, let's just do that, you know. And definitely will be a good fight. But uh, 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 again, you know, as a fighter, you know, I I, I wouldn't mind fighting him. <laughs> but is is that a fight that some uh, fans want to watch? If it is, you know, let's make it happen. I know it'll be a lot easier to make because uh, Golden Boy has them. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, I do whatever they tell me to, and, and if, you know, whatever they they give me, you know. I like to see it, and I think a lot of fight fans would. If not, I don't think a lot. Oh, yeah. of, I don't think we'll hold you to it, because if you were to move to junior featherweights, there's plenty of names out there. Let me ask you this real quick: Do you think Nonito thinks that you bring anything to the table? I really wouldn't be able to answer that. I, I think so. I, I think people are are pretty much cornering him. You know, not not much pressure him to face me, but my name is being brought a lot. You know, to him, like, uh, what would you think of Abner Abner? And I think he's coming to a point where, oh, you know this will be a great fight. So I think so. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's a, it's a good fight, you know, Mexico against Puerto Rico. I think, I thank God I, I, I managed to, to get a good following, as, you know, in my Mexican crowd. And hopefully it continues that way. And it grows. If Nonito was to say no, because there's there's just not enough there, would that surprise you? It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Um, I, don't, I don't know why, if he would say that, you know, I mean, it wouldn't bother me, but again, you know, I'm doing my job. I got to win my fight, and, and uh, at the end of the day, I think, you know, the ones that come, you know, come down to making that type of big fight are the managers and, and the promoters, obviously. So uh, I think I have a great uh, promoter, you know, Golden Boy Promotion with Frank Espinosa, and I think we can manage to uh, make that fight happen without looking past Eric Morel. Uh, we definitely have a a tough, you know, fighter and then a week and, and we, we plan on giving a great show and, and letting people know why I deserve, you know, to fight these kind of fighters that we're all mentioning, mentioning right now. 